Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, how's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Anna. Hello, Romeo. Teacher, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Nelson? How's good evening, good evening, teacher. Gloricia? Hello? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Jaime, Carla, Diana, Imeldo, Elsa. Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi there. Good evening, teacher. Okay, have 10 people and... Teacher. Hi there, Blanco. Este, fíjese que yo no pude recibir clases porque he tenido una urgencia ahorita. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Blanca. Sí, so, ahorita. So you're not going to stay tonight with us? Vaya, ya le voy a mandar un mensaje al, al, al otro teacher. And also include information in the WhatsApp group, please. Ya lo mandé en el, en el WhatsApp de grupo. Okay, so if you send a message, don't worry. Vaya, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Hope everything's all right. Okay, now welcome everybody. I will check list attendance. You know that's a part of the class. It's quite important for us to to see about people who got there on time. And you know it's been raining a lot, and we hopefully, or fortunately, we're not going to have any problem with with the internet. Well, today is the. Thursday the 31st, August the 31st, right? So, in a very quick way, please. Ana Graciela. Presente, teacher. Good. Anderson. Armando. Blanca. Okay, Blanca just left, right? Carlos. Present. All right. Eh, Jimena, right? Diana. Present, teacher. Elmer. Uh, Elsa. Present. Okay. Floricia. Present teacher. Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid. Ivan. I am here. Good. Karina. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Kenny. Present teacher. Eh, Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Eh, Marisol. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Oh, and Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo. All right. Okay, guys, so we're going to start as soon as possible. You know, I have a lot of information to share with you tonight. And I hope that you are ready because we're not going to continue talking about common medications. And after that, we're going to see the way to um, release stress and to keep uh, healthy. Well, I will start by having a powerful presentation on some information vocabulary we started to work yesterday. Maria says, all right, Maria, I got it. I got your message, don't worry. I will try to take it into consideration. Well, I will start directly with the, with the, with the vocabulary because we know at the end. Teacher. Hi. Sir, uh, can you pass this? I did actually. I did. 
What's your name? Ah, uh, sorry. Um, I'm here, be but I'm at my job because I changed the system, and we can uh, end every every. Don't worry, uh, Armando, right? Right. Yeah, don't worry, Armando. At the end, I will checklist the thing in the second time. Remember, I, I tried to do it twice during the class. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Right. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay, guys, now yes. Let's try to get concentrated. I have a lot of information to share with you. Remember, we're talking about med medications, common medications. And over here, I got information about medicine and sickness. You know you know the meaning of it, right? Medicine, uh -huh. medicine and sickness. What sickness? What is sickness? Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And I want you to be a hundred percent concentrating because you know the presentation is a little bit long. I would really appreciate if you take some notes about vocabulary. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I can listen to yes. some of you saying yes, we are ready. So what's he doing? Um, well, don't worry if you don't worry if you um if you cannot take notes about everything because it's going to be a lot of info but i want you to get familiarized with the info so what are what's he doing have you ever done this before what are these what are, hey what are those people well we're gonna we're gonna learn what's he doing ah uh, he's getting active puncture look at the other one Hey, have you done this before? No, I haven't. I'm too scared. What are these? Ah, they are needles. How do you say this in English? How do you say this in English? They are needles. Yeah. What is he doing? Well, he's- Needles. Yeah. He's sticking needles in him. Sticking needle. Acupuncture, right? So, Listen, listen to the next part. It's going to, I have a lot of people here. So we have some antibiotics. We, we also have bacteria. And we're going to see some more vocabulary. That's in the image over here. Do you know vocabulary? So what's the meaning of this picture? Look at it. What is this in English? What is it? No idea? Bacteria. Uh, Okay, so that's uh, germs or bacteria. Yeah, bacteria. What is this in English? What is it? Idea. Chemical structure. Liquid. Chemical Sorry. structure. Now, what is Chemical this? Stock. How do you say this in English? Medicine. Yeah, it's medicine, but specifically oh. antibi antibiotics or pills. Antibiotics. Pills. Pills, antibiotics. Antibiotics. Now, oops, <laughs> I already showed this one. Now you know how to say this, right? It's a lid. There's a lid. difference with the pills. Lid. You know, pills, lid, they are different, right? Look at this. What what do you think, or how do you think this is called in English? Uh, what is this? Huh? Uh, France. It's a bottle, no. right? It's a bottle. But what's in the bottle? Bottle from medicine. Uh, uh, that is a pill bottle. Pill bottle. Pill yeah. bottle. A bottle that contains pills. <laughs> Simple like that. Bottle and, medicine. Yeah. So and this one. Kirban or band? Or it's a band, band, but look at it. It's band. a band-aid. Band-aid. Band-aid or plaster. Plaster. Okay, so let us, let us repeat. Bacteria. 
Bak kecil. Bak kecil lagi. Chemical structure. You know, the antibiotic mm -hmm. help the body by killing the bacteria. Mm -hmm. We need to be clear about it. So I will go a little bit faster because we have a lot of vocabulary here. Uh -huh. So if you want to see the information, once again, you can see the video. And But, well, there's a question here that's, what's he doing? doing yeah, what's he doing to his hand? Uh-huh, what is that what thing? Well... He's wrapping up. What's he doing? Wrapping up his wrist. Yesterday we talked about body parts. You know about body parts. How do you say muñeca in English? Right. Uh, it's over here, right? Or uh, we don't know if he is wrapping up his hand, actually, or only his wrist. So, but what's that what thing? How do we call this in English? That is... It's a bandage. It's not a band-aid, but it's a bandage. Bandage. Yeah, it is a bandage. 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 Now, what happened to the lady? Look at it. What's she doing? Oh, what is she, she doing? doing? Yeah, what is she doing? She's blowing. Blowing. She's blowing. blowing her nose. Ah, blowing she's blowing her nose. nose. Why do you blowing think she's blowing her nose? Her what are her symptoms? Blowing. Maybe she has? A runny nose. Ah, runny she has a runny nose. nose. Now, runny. now you know perfectly how, uh, I mean, the way to say um, this symptom in English. She has a runny nose. What's she doing? She's blowing her nose because she has a runny nose. Maybe she has a stuffy nose. You know stuffy? Excellent. Now, we have more here. I told you, it's a little bit long. Then we're going to see some okay. info in the PDF. What's he doing? Mm, Why is this good for you? Uh, do you think it's good, good for, you? good for you? He's doing coping therapy. Coping therapy. Yeah. Why is this good for you? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So if you don't know, just don't know. say, I don't know. Do you think it's good for you? Oh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now, what did I tell you uh, about the name of this? How do you say this in English? What's that thing called again? When do you need to put it on? Uh, that's what a band or band. Plaster. plaster. Band or plaster. plaster. When do you need to put it on? When? Well, you, need, say, to put it on. you put, need to put it on when you when. get a cup. You need to put it on when I get up. You need to put it on when you get hard. You need to put it on when you get injured. All right. So, Bandi, look, when you go to the dentist, you, you will see some like some objects or some items that he wears. Look at it. What's his job, people? Dentist. Uh, he's a dentist, all right. Uh, he's a dentist. Do you mind going to see him? Do you like to go to the dentist? Do you like to go to the dentist? Yes or no? Yes, I like. You you do yeah. like to go to the dentist, okay? So we're gonna see some of the things or some of the items he uses or wears while working. What's he wearing? Hey, what's he wearing? He is wearing. Uh -huh. He is wearing. He's wearing. 
Ah, safer Googles. Google. Safer, ah, safer oh. Googles. You know, safer <laughs> Google. Then safer Google. Face mask. 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 And later, and gloves. 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 These are gloves. Gloves. So, how do you say this in English? Gloves. Gloves. No, I mean this one. No. How do you say this in English? Safer Google. Safer Google. Those are safer Google. Google. Hey, how do you say Google. this in English? Mask. Mask. That's a mask. mask. How do you say this in English? Gloves. Gloves. Okay, Gloves. pretty good. Simple like Gloves. that. It is simple like that. So. Look at the next part. Look at the next part. Ah, where is this instrument? What is that? Or what is that machine called? Well, machine called. Yeah, what is that? That's a blood pressure, blood pressure machine. machine. Blood pressure, blood pressure machine. machine. Hey, what does the doctor use it for? Pression. What does the doctor pressure. use it for? Pressure. For for measuring your, your body, body blood, blood, blood pressure. pressure, blood pressure. What is it? Ah, well, there are some difference. Oh, there's a difference between this um, medicine. I mean, the way we call it. For example, these are called uh -huh. pills. Look, uh, do you think they are pills? Well, they are pills, pills. actually. These yeah. are pills. What about these ones? Pills. Liquid gel. Ah, you got it. That's a capsule. 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 And what about this one? Cap gel cap. Yeah, yeah gel, gel, gel cap. cap. And this gel one? Cap. Tablet. 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 So you, now you see the difference between them, mm -hmm. right? Not all of them are pills, not all, not all of them are tablets, etc. Well, we have this instrument also, and this machine is called... Uh, uh -huh, how do we call this machine? It is an old-fashioned blood friction machine. What is it? Old-fashioned blood Pressure. What does the doctor use it for? For measuring your body blood pressure in an old fashion machine. Blood pressure machine. Keep it in mind, please. What are some other ways to say doctor in English? What are some other ways to say doctor? How do you say a doctor in a different way? Okay. Physician. 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 All right. Physician. Physician. Uh, when you have a family doctor, that's called practitioner. When you have doctor for children, this uh, doctor is called pediatrician. Pediatrician. And that's it. Now, how do you say Morete in English? Now, you see that. Well, I don't know what happened to him. What What's the problem with him? So, he got a breast. A breast. What do you think? What do you think he was doing? Uh, maybe he was playing uh, soccer or he was playing basketball. We don't know. And, and suddenly, he fell. What will the doctor tell him? Maybe go home is not a big deal. Maybe, right? Yeah. How do we call this? What's he wearing? Wearing? What's he wearing? Well, he's wearing. wearing he's wearing a cast. He's wearing a cast. That's a cast, right? Have you ever worn one of these? Why? I have because I broke. My I broke arm. my arm. Yeah. That's a cast. Cast. Okay, so there are different types of doctors. 
Uh, a doctor which focuses on a particular part of the body is a specialist. Specialist. A specialist. Specialist. Have you specialist. gone to see one before? See one before. Yes, yes I, I have. have. I've seen him. Yeah. Specialist. I have. Okay, how do you say this in English? She's going to do what? She's going to do what? Well, do you do you hate throw up or it's not that bad? To throw throw up. How do you say this in English? Throw up. How do you say this in English? Throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Or puke. 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 Or vomit. Vomit. Or be sick. Be sick. Okay. For me, it's not too bad. Yeah, for me, it's not too bad. No. Do you always go to the same doctor or do you like to try different doctors? I usually go to the same doctor unless I need a second. A second what? A second opinion, mm -hmm. important, right? Okay, now we try to go faster because we, we have a lot of work to do. Later, you are gonna tell us the way to keep uh, healthy. What are your jobs? Yeah, what are their jobs? What are they wearing? What are they wearing? Uh, what, what are their jobs? They, they are nurses. Ah, they are nurses. What are they wearing? They wearing blue scrubs. Blue scrubs. Blue scrubs. Blue scrubs. Okay. How do you say that in English? Scrub. What scrub? Scrub is what they are wearing. This is blue, right? Blue scrubs. Okay. Now then we have this. What is the Inject nurse? Look, tell me. Injection. Well, you can uh, call them shots. Shots. What's he wearing? What's he wearing? Okay. We have more here. Okay, the nurse is giving the patient a shot. Shot. Or somebody told it, right? Somebody said it. Injection. injection. Shots or injection. Mm. Shot. Injection. Okay, what is this? Shring. What is this? Yeah. And what is this? Needle. Needle, right? So that's vocabulary that we have been studying. So what's the doctor handing you? He's handing you, how do you say it? Receta medica in English. That is a? Recipe. Prescription. Yeah, it's a prescription. 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 Uh, when you say a recipe, it's because recipe is, is for food. But this is medical prescription. Are you prescribed to any medicine? Where do you fill your prescriptions? So if the answer is yes, then you say, I'm prescribed to antibiotics right now. So we say, I'm prescribed mm -hmm. because you were assigned to to uh, drink some antibiotics. Where do you feel your prescription? Well, my doctor feels them, so I don't go to the pharmacy. Okay, well, and we have more info in here, but the thing is that we continue with this, and time is not gonna be enough. So what does the guy have? He has a runny nose, or his nose, it's not running or that is coming out of his nose. What should he do? He should blow his nose. 
blue, blue, blue. The other one is no white. White. Not. No. And that's it. So and how do you say this in English? This is a painkiller. Painkiller. What kind of medicine is this? It is a painkiller tablet. Like an aspirin. I don't know if it is an aspirin or what. Or you can take a painkiller if you are in pain. You can take a painkiller if you are in pain. This is an emergency emergency room. What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly because it's this painkiller, right? No, I mean, I, I got what you said. <laughs> Not exactly that way, but it kills the pain that you have. <laughs> okay, so. Matarata, gente. No, 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 I mean, <laughs> it kills, it, it kills the pain that you feel. Let's imagine you have a backache, a, a stomachache, or something like that, then you take a painkiller. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't think about matarata, right? It's not like that. Matavicho. <laughs> yeah. What is this place when the people go there? That's the emergency room. Just pay. When they get serious injuries, these are bones. These are bones. How do you say huesos in English? Are they like bones? Bones. 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 What's the difference between break and fracture? No difference. Okay. Are they bones? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but, but actually, I'm telling you that they are bones. What's the difference between break and fracture? No difference. They have the same meaning. No difference. So you see, a break or a fracture. What does the picture show? The picture shows different kinds of fractures. What's wrong with the lady? She has a what? What's wrong with the lady? She has a, <laughs> a headache. Her, yeah, her head hurts. Her head feels painful. Her head is in pain. What do you usually do in that situation? Uh, well, I usually take an aspirin. I usually take an aspirin. An aspirin, okay? So now I think we're gonna finish with this. What's it? What's she about to do? Yes. It's about how they say. How do you say it's in English? She's about to sneeze. When yes. you usually sneeze, yes. I sneeze with oh, the scissors. Yeah. And change. Change. yeah. And that's it, right? So I think. I think I would I would finish with this. Okay, so we got a lot of info and the yeah. time is running. And I, I want you to create something. Quiero que creen algo, okay? Ahorita es puro vocabulario. Ya pronto van a crear algo ustedes. Vamos a aprovechar que unos 15 minutos de preparación y luego a presentar la información. What's a machine called? It's a? It's a skirt. It's a scale. scale. What does the doctor yeah. use it for? The doctor mm -hmm. uses it for checking, checking. Yeah. checking. for me wearing curious high language. And I was talking checking. here. Me voy a Le voy a compartir la presentación porque hay más vocabulario, pero necesito que trabajemos en la plataforma, ¿ok? Give me a second.
Now I will share screen once again. Now, can you see the info, people? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. So, yes, now, teacher. What is the topic? Conversation. 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 Don't worry too hard. So we're going to see this conversation and later we're going to try to create something, create the information we have got it. Hi, everyone. In Listen. this class, you'll learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't hmm. sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient Okay, Typically, guys, this is important whenever because we are we're going to see some verbs, we some doctor, imperatives. We're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Take a pill. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. And rest in bed. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't, Don't work, work too hard. hard. Don't stay up late. Don't stay late. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. All right. So as you could listen to the information, we have imperatives. How do we call them? How do we call this, this structure? They are? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They are called imperatives. Imperatives. So as you can see, Perfect. you start by using um, a verb, okay? okay. And, and the complement, right? So for example, take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, drink lots of juice, don't work too hard, don't, don't. So if you want to make it negative, you have don't and you have the verb okay so if you want to say it, uh this is negative how would you say it don't don't, don't, don't take a pill don't. Uh -huh. this one rest. no i don't. mean in the neg in negative don't rest, don't. Don't rest in bed yeah. this one in negative don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Excellent. That's the way it is. Now, over here, if you want to make it positive. Take a pill 
every four hours. Oh, all right. So here, take a pill every four hours. The other one? Rest in bed. Rest in bed. And the last one? Drink lots. Drink lots of jazz. Juice. juice. All right. Juice. Drink lots of juice. Excellent. So I think it's going, juice. it's been enough. I think it's been enough. So keep it in mind because you're going to use it soon. I will stop it now here. And uh, well, let me see. Let me see the characters. And this is the, the, the last part. Later, you're going to complete the exercises because I will check them uh, on, on Monday because we are meeting on Monday, right? So I will play this video so that you have like uh, some ideas on providing simple ways to improve your health. Later, <laughs> sorry, you're going to provide your own. That's what we're going to be working on in a couple of minutes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right, now we saw like 10 ways to improve your health. Now we're gonna make a pause here because I want you to work in this form. This one is gonna be like homework assignments because we're not gonna we're not gonna work on them just right now. We have call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry. And that's it. So you're gonna work with it later because we still we still have like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. So in these 20 minutes you're going to have the chance to create something in English. I will stop by sharing here. I will talk a little bit in Spanish so you got the, the whole idea, I mean a clear idea about what we're doing now. But vimos el video y ese video con, uh, tenía 10 forma de mantenernos eh, saludables. Entonces ustedes van a buscar cinco, ¿okay? cinco maneras, cinco consejos de cómo mantenernos saludables. ¿okay? I will give you um, ten, no, I will give you five minutes, five, six, six minutes will be enough. Van a tener seis minutos para que utilicen la web busquen los, um, las frases que van a presentar y ya luego yo voy a elegir quienes nos van a, a regalar esa información, ¿ok? ¿Está claro? ¿Sí? Seis minutos, ¿ok? Seis minutos y regresamos.
हेलो हेलो हाय हेलो सॉरी आई एम आई एम वर्किंग आई डोंट नो एंड सॉरी टीचर acaba de, de ingresar a la clase no teacher es que estoy eh, de oyente porque estoy trabajando ah ok salí Armando. ahorita para poder hablar porque vi que estaba en, en, en el, el cuarto aquí por eso lo estaba preguntando allá no sé qué estaban haciendo porque como solo estoy escuchando sí pero como estoy trabajando no estoy 100% escuchando ok Armando necesito que busque cinco consejos en la web de cómo mantenernos saludables Ah, ok, ok. Eh, like y, ok, solo que me voy a tardar, estoy trabajando, ¿verdad? salí ahorita para, para poder hablar porque no. Ok, hermano, no. take your time. You, actually, you're going to have like six minutes. Ok, thank you. Teacher, hello. Uh, it's like feeding, exercise, medical checks, night rest, mood. Uh, okay, okay, but I will share something just for you to have a clearer idea. Okay, it's not only like exercise. Okay, it's probably ah. another. I can say it, but I can um. Hay que identificar como ideas más, un poquito más, más claras. ¿Por qué deberíamos de hacer ejercicio? Ah, ya, ya, ya entendí. ¿Qué tan seguido deberíamos de hacer ejercicio? Por ejemplo, no solo, digamos, este ejercicio, Ajá, pero cada cuánto, a diario, cuántos minutos. Ok, tratemos de, ir, tratemos de ir implementando vocabulario. Ah, ok, ok, ok. And just like, uh, let me see. Um, 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 feeding healthy lives. And we can. Uh, Exercise every day. Um, medical checks for uh, one more, uh, one one in month. Okay, Armando. Um, now, as you can see on here, Armando, it says eat breakfast, but it also provides other information such as breakfast give you energy for the morning. Ah, okay. And number two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Okay, something like this, Armando. Okay. Okay. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you have you have some more minutes more. Teacher, right. eating papaya is a good for for a good digestion. Okay. So you, you may say, hey, eating some papaya can help you to, to have a good digestion. Yeah. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Tell me. Nelson. Ah, Nelson. Go ahead. Uh, drinking a lot of uh, glasses of water 
اي داي اكسرسايز دايلي اوكي ات فروت ان فيجيتابل اسليب اي اورز اي داي Excellent, excellent, Nelson. Uh, read read up a, a book uh, for 10 minutes is, is a good help for the brain. It's good for, for our brain to read at least like 10 or 15 minutes daily. Good. Every day, yes. What else? What else, people? Is using the. <laughs> I think Diana. Diana wants to participate. Diana, go ahead. Uh, no, Ingrid, teacher. Ingrid, okay. So, Ingrid, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I sleep seven or eight hours a day. Good. What else, Ingrid? Exercise regularly Exercise and control regularly. your weight. And control your weight. <laughs> right. yes. That's a good piece of advice for me, you know. Uh -huh. What else, people? Time Take to a, a pen. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Oh, wash your hands before having your meal. You know meal, right? Lavar nuestras manos antes de tomar la comida. Uh -huh. What else? Um, use Television, my computer. I do not watch too much television. Brush, brush our our tooth. Brush your teeth three times. Uh, your teeth, uh, three times every day. Okay, brush your teeth three times during the day. Good. Get energy sleep. For uh, get, get, energy. All right, that's get enough. Get enough. Get, get enough. Get enough. Get enough. Get enough. Sleep for. Mm -hmm. Get enough. Sleep for very energy. All right, sleep to recover energy. Uh huh. What else? Take, take. Take a shower in the morning and it's relaxing. Taking a shower in the morning is relaxing. Good. And what about at night? At night too. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better, right? It's better. Teacher, I tell me. Uh, drink plenty of water to maintain irritation. Good. Drink plenty of water to maintain. To maintain hydration. Okay. Yeah, actually, they are like, hey, like, uh, I mean, you need to drink enough water to keep your kidneys <laughs> healthy. How do you say riñones in English? Look for the word riñones in English. Kidneys. Ah, those are our kidneys. So, you know, if your kidneys get damaged, I mean, everything is going to get damaged. So that's why it is very important to drink enough water, enough water, right? And it is cheap and it is easy to get it. It's barata y um, es fácil de conseguir el agua. So get enough water. Aunque hoy en día hasta el agua se ha vuelto un poco cara. Now, 
We're almost done with it. We're gonna try to finish with with the exercise because we still have some some time. And we're almost done with the first part. Now, don't work too hard. Is um, the conversation? We can get some. Yeah, now we're gonna work with this, anyways. We have the verb hold, stay, stay, don't go, don't go, don't drink, don't go, don't drink, 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 over here we have multiple choices. Sí. It says a dentist. Call. Call a dentist. Call. Too much. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Two aspirins. Cake. 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 Two aspirins. Three two aspirins. To school. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. Why do you say don't go? Why? <laughs> Is that bad to go to school? To school. Uh, okay, don't there. Okay. Say, don't go to school, okay? Oh, we almost done with it. Now, in bed. Stay. 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 Stay, Stay in bed. A Stay doctor. In bed. Hey. Don't, See drink. A doctor. don't drink See a doctor. Don't go. Don't drink coffee. Don't. See. No, but the word is a doctor. A doctor. Ah, the doctor. See. 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 doctor. That is very difficult. Don't eat. Candy, any candy. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. So we're going to see the answers. And actually, I think we did it, right? Call a dentist. Don't worry too much. Take two aspirins. Don't go to school. Stay in bed. Be a doctor, don't drink too much coffee, and don't eat any candy. Okay, listen, people. Uh, meanwhile, I check this attendance second time. You're gonna work in the in the next exercise. Mientras paso la asistencia, ayúdenme trabajando con este ejercicio. Que es el último de la sección dos. Ok, aquí está la lectura y aquí hay que completar. Voy a dejar de compartir pantalla para poder obtener la asistencia esta noche. A very quick way. Ok, once again, Ana Graciela. Present, teacher. Ok, Ana Graciela. Anderson. Jeremy. Armando Antonio. I'm here to jerk. Blanca. Carlos Aníbal. Present. Cecia Geminia. Cecia, are you there? Diana. Present teacher. Elmer. Present teacher. Elsa. Present. Floricia. Present teacher. Ingrid. Present teacher. Jaime. I am here teacher. Karina. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Kenny Guadalupe. Kenny, are you there? 
María Imelda. Present teacher. Mm, María Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present. Nelson. Present teacher. Romeo. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Wilfredo, are you here? Well, actually, I have three people who didn't get into the class. Those were Jeremy, Cecia, and uh, Wilfredo. Okay, so let's talk a little bit because, you know, we're, we're going to meet until the next uh, Monday, right? So tomorrow we're not having any class. Okay, we still have like a couple of minutes to see. Well, I will share this link. I consider this link is important for you to have some of you about uh, parts of the party. Get a, a glossary, try to memorize a lot of people. And that's right, okay, you got it there. Look at the chat, please. Visualizing el chat, por ahí les compartí un enlace. De hecho, le voy a, le voy a compartir. Ya tengo uno. Ah, this is a good one. Le voy a compartir dos enlaces. Para que lo practiquen. Okay, it's been a pleasure, people. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. No sé si hay algún comentario, alguna inquietud. La podemos abordar antes de cerrar la, la sesión de esta noche. Teacher, lo va a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp también. Mm, fíjese que ahorita no tengo acceso al grupo de WhatsApp. Pero si alguien es tan amable de copiarlo y colocarlo en el grupo, pues se lo vamos a agradecer mucho. Yo de momento, pues, no tengo, no, no lo tengo conectado. ¿Ok? Ok, no questions, no comments. Teacher, Kenny is, uh, is writing in the chat. Kenny is typing in the chat. Kenny says... Ah, uh, yeah, Kenny, Kenny Guadalupe. Give me a second. Give me a second, Kenny. Well, and we're going to finish with it because time is over. Kenny, right? Kenny. Yeah, I don't guess. worry, Kenny. Don't worry. You are, you are here. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Let us see the next time. Nos vemos en la próxima sesión. Have a good Bye, night. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Hey, study, please. Study. Tomorrow, study the bye. information. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. I miss you, Lanka. <laughs>
ಆನಸು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅವಾ 